Hi everyone, I know that you can't see me, but I'm just going to play a um, reading that I did offline. So, I hope everybody's doing alright. I'm going to get started. Reading tarot a lot different than a lot of people. You uh, will get all kinds of stuff on my channel. A lot of times I look at criminal activity and stuff like that. I do incorporate the scripture because it is found in the tarot. If you didn't know it, yes, it sure is. Uh, I'm just for the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. I'm not like a religious channel. I'm just for the truth, and uh, truth comes by way of keeping the commandment, and so I do. But anyway, um, You'll just learn me as we go. I feel energy, and sometimes it can be very intense, and so I'm known to roar on camera and stuff like that because I can't stand wickedness. But anyway, let's just go ahead and jump in here and see what's going on. Let's uh, connect here together with the Elohim of the universe, in which people call him the spirit, but I call him by his scriptural name, which is Jehovah. He tells us that's my name forever. And so, Jehovah, I just appreciate you so very much. You know all things. Show me three cards, please, and whatever you want to reveal what's the most important thing that we need to know in our right now moment. <clears throat> we have the Five of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles here. Could be dealing with somebody a little younger than you. Uh, something about work could be here. The Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is work. I mean, the King of Pentacles could be a boss figure, somebody professional. They're very practical. They're responsible. They're in the upright. Something's happened here with the Five of Cups where cups got fallen over. Somebody's been crying over spilt milk. Uh, maybe about loyalty situations, um, being dedicated and stuff like that, and honorable with the Knight of uh, Pentacles is here. This is about buckling down, man, getting some things done. Um, there's a lot of money involved in something here, uh, and somebody's crying over, you know, maybe losing a job or something about being loyal or dedicated to something I uh, guess didn't work out. Or if you're going to turn around, take the two cups that still remain, then something could be very fortunate out here within the situation, okay? Um, show me this King of Pentacles. What do you want to bring out about him? <clears throat> What's this King of Pentacles here for? cards here. This King of Pentacles is showing, um, he's in his head. The Eight of Swords is there, and uh, in his head about coming together with a unity, uh, with the Two of Cups. Um, somebody stuck because of some, some decision that was made, um, and something's very much emotional around it. There was deception here around loyalty situations and third parties. Okay, um, I, I'm seeing I'm seeing some type of very emotional thing going on where somebody is now stuck in a rut because of what somebody worked on. Uh, could be affecting your work if somebody you know was in your home that worked on something and you're taking that stuff to work it could really uh, affect some stuff. I'm actually showing three kings out here now and uh, the knight. Um, if somebody is facing legal matters, legal matters now around something that was worked on or is trying to be worked on as well. What is this here? Being generous. If somebody paid somebody off or to, did some, to do something and there's legal matters around it, then some type of incarceration is here or around that ordeal. There's a lot of money, though, that, that was here with it. Uh, you could be dealing with a divorce situation um, as well. What is this... Um, Somebody was a little too generous somewhere, or somebody was being generous and they were being deceiving uh, about the, the generosity that all is, is that's here. If there was a you know if there was a secret motive around somebody's situation why they were being generous, then that's then that's here. The Queen of Pentacles and the Will of Fortune is also here, and the Nine of Swords is underneath the deck. But somebody's really in their mind. Sleepless nights, and then there's the other woman there. There's people coming up. And so this is a work family. This is a work family situation. There's something very karmic around the ordeal. When the will comes out, it turns uh, either way it needs to go. It will turn in the truth. So whatever the deception was around the financial ordeal or the work matter, and whoever was in... Um, a unity to do what they did in secret it's costing somebody in a very big way there's bitterness out here show me the five of cups what's the five of cups here for you 
cups is five of cups because somebody still cried over spilt milk because they're stuck somewhere okay yeah balancing issues are here and this is about a reconciliation so I guess if there's still two cups left you have a choice okay to return the six of cups is underneath that so both of these are about reconciling and returning your soulmates are here or to somebody in your world that is in your soulmate group um, there could be a consequence around um, returning the seven of cups is a confusion what do I do but you do know what to do people do know what to do because you know what the truth is but if the truth is is costing somebody um, even legal incarceration or costing something around contractual things where it's going to cost money or something like that, then something's here. Uh, there's somebody exaggerated something. Obviously, there's, there's deception that was around some interference here. Then the wheel's turning regardless or something very karmic here. Show me what's hidden. Show me what's hidden here, please. <clears throat> that needs to be revealed. I feel like this king of uh, this king of pentacles is in love with the queen of pentacles that's here. Um, yeah, there's a sweetheart here. What else do you want to bring out here? This is somebody special to somebody. And then they're in their head about it and there's some type of a consequence around the return. Okay, because something's happened. Um, but if you get up and do the right thing and face the truth, something's fortunate here. Okay, we have a string of luck here for somebody. Um, we have this. We have something about a reunion that is here. Okay, somebody wants to fix something. There's a there's a male relative involved in the situation. Could be around death matters for some people. Um, doesn't have to be, but there is a widower card, or, or, or this person's a widower, or a widow, uh, make it fit in, in whatever needs to fit for you, um, but that card, the widower card can just represent a male relative involvement within something, something happened at a reunion, that's something that, that uh, happened at a reunion is here, we have some type of a luck, but um, you have to get up, take action, um, somebody's confused, because for some people there's a consequence with this return. Okay, especially if somebody dies. Um, the Ewaz is here. This is friendship. Okay, somebody's friend did something um, uh, secretly. They weren't loyal to a situation, or if they don't like your connection to somebody who matches you, um, or somebody out of your home uh, involved in something, then so be it. There's something around a marriage and a promotion and increase. And we have we have work that is showing up here. This is a loyalty rune as well. Somebody just needs to trust, get up, do the right thing. Let me pick from my homemade deck. <clears throat> you hope you just uh, give us some words here for any given person that needs to have some words for this situation. All right. Um, if you're dealing with somebody who's gothic, that word is here. Take it as it applies. It won't. It won't apply for everybody. But somebody's dealing with somebody, I guess, who's gothic or dark or whatever that means for you. Um, yes, you always says that somebody is ready to speak. They have probably thought about it for a long time. There's there's returning cards here. Somebody does want to speak. They do want to heal something. Um, they they ready to collaborate. You need to use your intuition around it. Something's very costly. It will be very um, karmic around it. Somebody's been bullied in a really bad way out here. Somebody bullied somebody in a really bad freaking way. If that was a male relative that is bullying somebody in your family or a child or something like that, he almost says he's going to bully the bully now. <clears throat> Uh, there's a false officer that is being exposed in the situation. Well, it's positive then. The King of Swords is appearing underneath the moon, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the, the King of Wands came out with this King of Swords that's underneath the, the, the loyalty card. And so there is somebody who was false, somebody's partner, friendship was, was nasty, somebody was secretly bullying somebody. Well, then there's a false officer that's being um, exposed. There's also a fraud issues that were around the ordeal for some people as well and a child saw something that happened within this okay um we also have the next word is for you and i to taste and see that you hope is good because he's bringing some type of justice here and somebody's ready to talk about something that's happened okay you hope it brings out uh stuff that's talking about 
in Isaiah 5 and 20. He says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil and put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter um, woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and then mix it of, with the strength and mingle it with strong drink and then justify the wicked for reward well we do have a reward energy that is out here the six of pentacles is somebody giving something the temperance card is out here that's two cups being mixed together somebody was mixing things together and getting drunk and giving a payout and calling this, yeah, this is a good thing to go do something that was worked on. It was deceptive. And a police officer was involved in the thing. And you're always exposing them. And some child seen something that happened with that with the situation. And uh, you always says he's going to bully this bully now that's been doing some stupidness. Somebody has an ugly heart about them on one, one of these cards that's stated here. Yes. People don't just do things for no freaking reason. A jealousy situation around some stuff, or somebody didn't like your connection because there's a sweetheart around some situation, and so be it. Uh, so somebody's hand's being forced in the matter, and uh, Jehovah's anger endures for a moment, but his favor is life, and weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Well, somebody's ready to speak. For some of you all, in the morning, you're going to be hearing something uh, about this person who has been exposed, who has been uh, apparently even secretly um, causing some... Um some bullying to go on maybe that's with your child for some people somebody's child's been bullied out here whatever's taking place somebody paid somebody off to do some stupid disgraceful thing and somebody's hands being forced in some matter we don't care if you work for the police department or not if you are false you you have no right to be up in our law enforcement okay you've broken every rule possible um to um to help protect the public and you felt okay so you always turning the arm of the wheel and it's going to make sure that somebody, um, whatever their choice that they made with that seven of, uh, of cups, there was a uh, consequence around it. You and I don't get away with anything. Okay, so there's something here where somebody apparently has got gelled in coming to them. They will be incarcerated for what they did. And somebody's going to talk. And so you are going to hear from uh, this situation. Guys, this is what come out for this reading. If it was your reading, then uh, good luck to you. You're always making everything uh, turn out right. He's going to now bully the one who thought that they could bully you and oh i guess hi guys um, hope that you are doing oh. well thanks for joining for a um <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I guess it got cut off at the end of that. Anyway, this what came out was a really big reading, and uh, I just wanted to share it with you all this way because it was offline. It was just an audio, and so if it resonated with you, then it was your reading. Otherwise, it, you were just listening to it. Um, anyway, I hope you all have a fantastic evening, morning, night, day, whatever it is that you are catching this. And by the way, happy birthday, happy anniversary. I like to say that at the top of the video. I don't know that I, it... it it kind of was cut off at the top of this video, um, but I do like to wish you guys a special day if it is a special day. So I guess I'll have to run it back to see if, if I did um, say, I know I said it, but for whatever reason, when I started the video, it seems like it was, some of it was cut off at the beginning. So I apologize. But uh, anyway, it, the most important thing is, is that you got the gist of the message. Until next time, y'all. Shalom.